Hi guys, if you are experiencing this blue screen problem on your Windows 10 or 11 and you wish to resolve it permanently, then this video is your one touch solution. This problem can be software related or hardware related and I'm going to take you through all the steps I know following my over 20 years of experience in computer repairing. So without wasting time, let's begin. First of all, if you can access your desktop, then quickly come to your search box and type reset and click reset this PC. From there, come to Advanced Startup and click Restart Now and click on this again. From there, wait patiently and you will come to this blue screen that says Choose an Option. But in case you cannot have access to your desktop, then first of all, turn your computer on and immediately you see the Windows logo or the manufacturer's logo, then quickly hold the power button to turn it off. Do that about 3 or 4 times until you see preparing automatic repair. And from there, wait a while until you see these advanced options that says choose an option. From there, click troubleshoot. Then advanced option. Click startup repair and see if that can resolve your problem. But if not, then click on command prompt and follow my guide. First of all, type SFC space right slash scan now and press enter key. This command will check the system files and if there are any problems, it will repair them. After it's done, again type chkdsk space right slash f space c then column sign and press enter key this command will check your hard drive or ssd for errors and possibly repair them but please here critically observe this you can see the back settings are zero but in case yours is different and you see one or more back sectors detected here then i will advise you quickly watch this video and download this free software from the description Use the software from the video to boot the mini Windows 11 to your desktop and from there you can copy all your important files from the drive before it's too late. This bad sectors detected shows that your hard drive or SSD has started failing and if you don't act quickly, you might lose your vital data from the drive. Again, watch this video and use the software to test the health of your drives. If the health has dropped much, then I will advise you replace the drive. But in case the second command has no bad sectors, then we can enter the next command. Boot rec space forward slash fix MBR and press enter. Again, boot rec space forward slash fix boot then enter. Here, sometimes you get assets denied, but don't worry, just proceed. Again, boot sec space forward slash nt60 space sys, then enter. After that, close the window and click continue and check if the problem has been resolved or not. If not, there are two things I'll suggest you do. One, come back here again to the command prompt and type MDSCHED and press enter. After that, this window will pop up and we can check RAM problems with this command. But before that, I want to reveal to you that RAM problems is one of the major causes of blue screen problems when it's hardware related. So here, we will check for RAM problems. So let's click on restart now. After that, this screen will appear which says Windows Memory Diagnostic 2 and you should wait for it to check if your RAM have issues. This will take some time so you need to be very patient. After the process is completed, your computer will restart. You can also use your computer BIOS to check for RAM and hard drive issues. Let me use Dell and HP as an example. For Dell computers, press the power to turn on and quickly press F12 to show the boot menu. 
then select diagnostics and from there click on ram and the process will start you can use the same process to test your hard drive or any hardware device for hp computers press the power to turn on and quickly tap f2 to show the diagnostic screen select ram or hard drive to test Wait patiently and ensure the test pass successfully. As you can see, the test has passed successfully. This means that the RAM is working properly. But in case the test failed, what do you have to do? First of all, you will need to disassemble your computer. From there, look for your RAM. In my case, this is the RAM, so I'll remove it. Then first, use an eraser to gently rub the connecting terminals. Sometimes, there might be corrosion or death that may build up with time on the RAM connecting terminals. And this really affects proper communication between the RAM and the computer. So you will need to use an eraser to clean that. After that, fix it back and run the test again. If the problem still persists, then you need to replace your RAM. But in case you have two or more RAMs installed in your computer like this, then what you have to do is to install one RAM at a time. So, you can do that by removing one of the RAMs and do the test for each. This process will help you to easily identify the faulty RAM and make the necessary adjustments. Sometimes, only one RAM may be faulty and you can just remove the faulty RAM and only use the working RAM until you are able to make a replacement. So that's all about how to check your RAMs, storage devices and other hardware devices. But if the problem is not hardware related, then I would suggest you do a power drain. What this will do is to reset your computer's motherboard and this can solve many compatibility problems. Sometimes this process can even solve the problem of a dead computer if the motherboard capacitors are overcharged. So what you have to do is to remove your laptop CMOS battery. As well as the main battery. After that, press and hold the power button for about 30 seconds to 1 minute. From there, wait for an extra 3 to 5 minutes and put everything back together and try again. But if your problem is not hardware related, then come back to this advanced settings that says choose an option and click on troubleshoot. Then advanced options. Then startup settings. And click restart. So from there, this startup settings screen will show up. And you will need to press a number from your keyboard to choose an option. I want to enter into safe mode, so I'll press 4 from my keyboard. And wait patiently until you come to this black screen that says safe mode. So first of all, come to search and type this cleanup. And click on it. Then click OK. After that, this window will show up. And what this will do is to remove all junks and unnecessary files that may affect the stability of your Windows operating system. So here, you will need to select all the temporary files like these ones. And in case you do not need your deleted files in the recycle bin, then check that too. After that, click OK and click delete files 
This will delete all the junk files and catchy files that can affect your Windows operating system. From there, again right click on start and click run. Now type msdt.exe space dash id space device diagnostics and click ok. After that this will open up hardware and devices and click advanced and ensure there's a tick on apply repair automatically then click next. From there you select the problem you wish to fix and click next. Again depending on the problem you either get fixed now or enable an option. In my case, it is enabled because it seems Windows is not currently configured to be able to check for updated drivers. So I will click on Enable. And you can see the problem is fixed. From there, if your problem was fixed, you can click Yes. And after close the window. Again, come to your search and type Control Panel and click on it. From there, click on Programs and Features and you will see all the programs installed on your computer. In case you install any programs before you started experiencing the blue screen error, then you can only install the programs from here. But in case it's an update you downloaded and installed for your Windows operating system, then you click View Install Updates. In here, all update files will show. So you will just have to uninstall that update you think you installed before you had a problem. After I close the window and restart your PC and see if that resolves your problem. If not, then come back to this advanced options again and click on troubleshoot. Then advanced options. Then system restore. In case you have a system restore point, then you can choose an earlier date when your computer was working well and restore it to that date. But if not, then come back again to this advanced option and click on troubleshoot. Then from there you can try to reset your PC. But before you proceed, I would suggest you watch this video I showed earlier and use the Harry's bootable USB to recover your personal files from your drive before you attempt this restore point as well as resetting your PC. This will ensure that your data or files are safe and recovered before attempting these options. If that is done, then you can go ahead to reset your PC. So here, click on reset the PC and you can choose either to keep my files or remove everything. If you choose to keep my files, there are two options. Option 1 is to reinstall your windows using the cloud download and the other option is to use the local reinstall. With the cloud download, you might need an internet connection which will download files and reinstall your operating system automatically. But with the local reinstall, you might need to reinstall your Windows using a device like bootable USB flash drive or any compatible device. But I would suggest you use the cloud download because this will give you an updated Windows reinstallation for optimal system performance. So that's all for this tutorial. I'm very sure one of these tips will fix your problem. If not, Please kindly contact me through the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But before that, if you got value from this, please like this video and subscribe for more amazing tutorials. Thanks for watching, have a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.